Hey everybody, welcome back. The Benchmade Mini Claymore is here. It is ready to go, ready to be carried. I can't be more excited about it because it's the Mini. It's kind of the transition to everything Mini. Mini knives, Mini EDC, Mini gear, Mini patches, Mini stickers. But the cool part is the Mini Claymore is here and ready to go. Now we're gonna take a look at both of these a little more in depth. Uh, we kind of did an unboxing. This is gonna be more of an overview. We're also gonna do some comparisons with the full size Claymores. And we're also going to do a comparison with some other familiar knives that we carry every day from Benchmade. And take a look at how these stack up. And we're also gonna take a look at which is your favorite color? Because I'm pretty impressed they did both colors with these. I know I asked it on the first one, but have you changed your mind? Because so far, the OD Green has ruled the votes. So let me know down in the comments. And also, let me know if this Mini fits your EDC carry or if the larger one's for you. But overall, let's take a peek at them. Let's fire these open. They got the little safety switch. You see the red dot, you know they're active, you know they're ready to go. Super snappy, they fire out, they are wonderful. Now I have a large glove size hand, I can get my full four finger grip on there. Thumb comes up on the blade, it's not gonna move, it's locked in with this button lock here. Now the cool part is, you got your lock, it's in the pocket maybe, you push it, it's not coming out. You unlock it, it's ready to go. So that's really cool about this one. Now let's take a look at the black one, same thing. You got the little red indicator that it's active, it's live, it's firing out, it's ready to go. Now they put the mini deep carries on these and I know you saw that in the unboxing. they has got the Benchmade CPM D2 on there. You have the US manufacturing on this side. You have the Morse code with FTE, face towards enemy on both of these and the full size. They did not forget about the lanyard fans. So that's a really cool option. Overall, some quick stats on these. Your blade, three inches long on these. Your steel we talked about, it's the CPM D2. These are coated. So on these, you're gonna see kind of that almost tungsten colored coating on here. And it's gonna make it so, I already got some usage out of this one. <laughs> but it's gonna make it so it's non-reflective for light. And I really dig that. It's got a beautiful logo on there. The green one just pops for me. I like the black one too, but this green one's really grown on me over the last week or so. And overall, I really dig the mini. I thought I was gonna like, kind of be missing that deep carry full size clip, but I'm not. These actually have worked really, really well. So the rest of the stats on this one, drop point blade, you got an overall length of 7.18 inches. You have the stainless steel liners in there. They're nested. You have kind of that same FRN Grivery backspacer in kind of a smoke gray color to match almost the color of the blade coating, which is really cool. And then closed length, you're looking at 4.18 inches. So it doesn't take up too much room, which is a really cool bonus. And on top of that, you got the new Benchmade sticker, pretty cool, pretty sweet. Picked that up at SHOT Show. Pretty cool they were handing those out. Now, overall, if you're a lefty, you can swap this over and carry it the other way. You still will have to operate it, however, with your middle finger and index finger to fire it out. Haven't practiced it too much, but it makes it super simple to use. Lefties are probably used to doing things a little different, I understand. And, Made in the USA, the weight on these is only 2.56 ounces. The gravity handle makes it super lightweight. You do have that barrel spacer in the middle there. We'll take a comparison look overall. It's got a, kind of that built-in texturing through here. Holds up really nicely. Um, this one's still super sharp. I've used this one on a few projects, cutting up some cardboard, some boxes, some other things. Outstanding performance. Now with the black one, you have that kind of dark gray Tungsten coated blade, which is kind of cool. The tungsten look has a slight bit of texture. I think somebody described it as worn out sandpaper uh, in, in my comments. And that's kind of the best idea 
because it doesn't have grit where it's like, you know, some of the other kind of more gritty coatings. It's not that. And, but it's got that non-reflectivity, which I dig because some of the black shiny, and we'll look at, uh, we've got a griptilian here that has more of a black shiny coating. So we'll compare that in just a minute. But let's take a look. Uh, pricing on these, um, full MSRP 230. You can get them at your knife favorite and Benjamin knife dealer for about 207 right now. But let's take a look also at the full size. So we have that OD green in the full size, same coating, same blade steel. We also have the black one. So really cool. They have the full size deep carry clips on these. You can also flip these over to the right or left carry, whichever you prefer. So let's take a peek. We'll go ahead and do a size comparison so you can see overall what you're getting into here. But that's size-wise difference, right? And I think overall for me, like even the full-size one, it's a full-size. And these full-size ones are even snappier. So they got to have a double spring or something going on with these full-size ones. This is one of the snappiest bench maids that I've ever handled uh operation wise and for the smaller ones obviously they don't want to make it too crazy uh, but you can see you know i have a little bit of extra room with a large glove size hand on this one this does have a little more pronounced thumb ramp so you can get behind it you know it got a little sharpening choil on there too for you so that's kind of cool so for me i've carried these full size ones and i kind of like the black one in the full size but for some reason I don't know. The green one in the full size just didn't, didn't do it for me. And I don't know what to say. I don't know why the green one, the OD green in the mini is making it for me, but it is. So let me know your thoughts, your size comparison, which one do you think is going to be the best for you? Um, there's kind of a pivot to pivot look at them. So we can put these up and get an idea of just the reduced size. Now on the full size one, you're looking at an overall 8.6 inches overall open. The blade on the full size is 3.6. So you're only 0.6 more on the blade, a little over half an inch. Same blade steel, the CPM D2, drop point, flat grind. The weight on the full size, 3.8 ounces versus 2.56. So quite a bit of difference in the weight comparison. And you can obviously definitely feel it when you're holding them. But pretty cool. I dig it. But let's take a couple of, uh, sorry, let's take a look at a couple others that are going to be a size comparison for this mini Claymore. Now, I want to show you a full size Benchmade Griptilian just so you can get an idea of what you're looking at. Pivot to pivot comparison. For those of you that are blade tip fans, there's blade tip to blade tip. And those of you that are fans of the butt end of the knife, there's your comparison there. But I like the pivot to pivot so you get a good idea of overall size comparison. Full size Benchmade Griptilian in G10. There's a width factor of them. So pretty cool overall. Now, one of the other ones we'll take a look at, the Mini Adamus. It's another Mini, right? So it should be comparable. But as you know with the Adamus, it's going to be a beefier, heavier duty knife full stainless steel liners, but you can see the blade's not that much longer, not that much longer in the blade and not too much handle length difference. You know, it kind of comes down, you know what, to this point right here, let's see. You're looking at the end of the handle grip here and then the overall end of it like right here. So not too much of a difference, but just enough. And then of course, thickness wise, you have the full liners on that mini Adamus compared to the mini Claymore. So some pretty cool comparisons there. Now I will have to say the final comparison, best of all for me, is gonna be that Benchmade 940. And we'll do that pivot to pivot comparison. Fits right in that neighborhood. You get a little bit longer handle, a little bit longer blade out of it. Thickness wise, you're gonna be pretty close in comparison with those. So you can kind of see right there. Obviously this mini Claymore being an auto, just snappy. It's a great secondary carry as well. If you like a bigger knife for your, you know, your frontline worker, so to be, but check these out. Let me know what you think on these. You have the 9570BK, which is this one, and the BK-1, which is the OD green one. So anyways, 
I really appreciate you checking this out. I think one of the things that we want to do is to continue to bring some of these new knives to you. We got all new fun stuff coming out for Benchmade this year. And let me know down in the comments what you think. I know for me, I'm still going with the mini Claymore in the OD green. It's, it's my favorite so far. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget, hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. Have an awesome rest of your day. But most importantly, take care.